Money in many different strategies, right? <coughs> you rob a bank, you can earn money from your relatives, uh, do a startup projects uh, on the internet, things like that. But as we are, we have limited resources. We cannot invest our efforts in all of these strategies. We have to select one or two or three strategies that we consider is most likely to to get the money. So this is what we did, and we put all our efforts so that each team member knows. Oh, sorry. <coughs> Alright, sorry, I'll be fast. Uh, yeah, so these are our previous projects uh, that we did. Uh, the action plan, so now for, uh, we have limited amounts of money, we spent around $70,000 of cash this year, and a lot of uh, man hours which are in hundreds of thousands of dollars. So we want to show that we have some hardware. And uh, we are about to test some of our uh, equipment on the balloons. And as well, we're going to do an outreach project in Croatia uh, for uh, all, all high schools can contact us and uh, give us their experiment. We will launch the experiment to 30 kilometers and give awards to the best schools that did. After that, we plan to launch CubeSats. Also, we have uh, Urash, our experimental technology guy, he wants to test his power plant uh, in space conditions and uh, one space-grade camera. Um, yeah, I'll just go briefly through this. We are already doing some tests and uh, mostly uh, simulations, things like that. And uh, we are ready to do uh, further products. What's, what's very interesting is that yeah, we give Google and Airsplice as a catalyst for the new Program. So even if we didn't win, we're very happy about the Google and Express because we all met together. We are already selling some of our products and services to uh, to other uh, customers. Actually, some of the companies from the cluster are doing that, and this is how we get the sponsor for money, which is very interesting. Um, so these are the, the things that will come after. So once we, we make a big company, we can be a partner for space tourism, space mining, these space communications, space <coughs> rover systems for Earth exploration and things like that. Uh, this is briefly about the marketing, what we did. We did some leaflets and uh, things like that. We've been on national television. We had many uh, presentations uh, all over the world. Um, the kids did their own rover, as you can see here. Uh, from the technical point of view, this is our mission. So we have a rocket, of course, commercial launch, launch provider. Uh, we, want, we, we want to launch um, a normal big space vehicle with uh, either Falcon 9 or rocket similar to that uh, because we want to show that we are capable of much bigger projects. So small is not good. The, the investors want big. The investors want hotels in space after 10 years, things like that. Uh, my, my friend is actually a leader of one uh, space agency. He, he came to ask uh, for money. And he was in a rented department in one country and he got $1.6 billion investment. If he asked for $30 million, he wouldn't get it. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we, we divided uh, the basic subdivisions of technical to launch provider, lander over, over communications and mission control. So here is briefly about each one. We already started um, simulations for the lander and uh, some paperwork, designs, uh, concepts, things like that. These are previous pictures just to make you laugh. What, what were the, all the ideas that we had? It's not going to look like anything like this, but uh, yeah, you have to do it and then make a 3D model and see what it looks like. Uh, rover will be produced in Heinz by the guys who already did a lot of work on the Mars Curiosity rover back in the Lander. This is the mock-up. It's just a toy to see what it looks like initially um, to prevent some uh, stupid mistakes on uh, late, later stages with much more experience, much, much more uh, expensive equipment. Uh, communications done by Robert. Uh, for now, we are looking for conventional technology, but we also have a plan to use some other <coughs> methods and to use these services later as a service provider to other companies that want it. Mission control. I'm leading the mission control. I wanted to divide it uh, into like the airplane operations, so normal and abnormal procedures. Uh, yeah. All right. And uh, these are the challenges, <laughs> and this is us. <coughs> Sorry. Uh,
very, very much to yeah. Team Seller for putting yeah, something together right. extremely quickly at the last minute. Mm -hmm. We appreciate it very, very much. Um, so our first speaker of the day has arrived, so we're going to start the session now. <laughs> so I'd like to welcome uh, Arno Vidas from Mars One, who's here. Um, I realise it's coffee time, but we go. Arno's going to give his presentation. I'd invite you to stay around for a few minutes and, uh, and to listen to what he's got to say. I think it'll be extremely interesting. Uh, while I'm setting up, we'll uh, just take some questions. Uh, there are any for Team Stella and the, the rest of the Google people here. Are there any questions? What interest actually going to be on your, on your Rover, Sam? Uh, sorry. What interest going to be on your Rover and when are you going to launch? Uh, you mean for scientific equipment? Well, we were just discussing the one experiment. Uh, we were interested in how to turn it regulate it to solid. So we are we're trying to we will see it with the power supply available if we can just take a little 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 uh, amount of regulate and try to irradiate it to see if it will turn solid and uh, to see viability if it's a good way to do some building materials. But other than that, unfortunately, just uh, data from the sensors, the pictures, videos, things like that. 